I wanted to change my car stereo head unit. Therefore I ordered new one from AliExpress. Today I am going to open the parcel received from AliExpress. Experience the future of in-car entertainment with the CarLayer Android 2 DN Double DIN Car Radio. This cutting-edge multimedia system boasts a powerful 4-core processor with speeds ranging from 1100 megabytes to 1.3 gigahertz, ensuring smooth performance. The 7-inch, 9, or 10 touchscreen display, made of aluminum alloy and ABS, is not only touch sensitive but also supports a crisp IPS/TN resolution of 1024 by 600. With 3 gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of ROM, it's perfect for storing your favorite apps and media. This Android-powered unit is designed with convenience in mind, featuring built-in GPS, a charger, support for Android Auto and CarPlay, and even a reversing input. The built-in speaker and microphone, along with support for steering wheel controls and 3G network connectivity, make it a versatile and functional choice. Plus, its compatibility with a wide range of languages and its CE certification ensure that it meets the highest standards for quality and accessibility. Upgrade your car's audio and entertainment system with CarLayer, a brand you can trust for a seamless, high-performance driving experience. Once you open the box, you can see all the cables are packed together, we can check those later. This is the user guide. If you want to get a clear idea, you can read it first. They normally give us aluminum brackets to connect the unit. This is the main thing the head unit. Let's check inside of the wires. You can see that we are given two cables for USB connections, reverse camera cable, audio, video cables, power cable and also GPS antenna. The assortment of cables in your car head unit setup serves specific and vital functions. The USB cable plays a pivotal role in connectivity, allowing you to connect external devices such as smartphones or USB drives to your car head unit. This versatile cable not only enables media playback but is also instrumental in facilitating features like Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, providing seamless integration with your mobile device. In addition to the USB cable, the power cable is equally essential. It serves as the lifeline, supplying the necessary electrical power to your car head unit. This cable connects the unit to your vehicle's electrical system, ensuring that your head unit and all its functions receive the power they require to operate efficiently. Moreover, the power cable often doubles up to include speaker wires, streamlining the installation process by carrying both power and audio signals in a single wire harness. Finally, the GPS cable holds a distinct purpose, it connects your car head unit to a GPS antenna, allowing your unit to receive GPS data. This connection is crucial for accurate navigation. Now we can connect those cables with car head unit. If you've had prior experience with Chinese car head units, you'll likely find that they typically follow a consistent wiring system. This can be a real advantage, as it means you might not have to be overly concerned about replacing or reconfiguring your existing wires when upgrading to a new car head unit. The wires you've used for your previous units should be compatible with the new one. That said, it's crucial to emphasize that while the wiring may be somewhat standardized, the key to a successful installation lies in the precision and care with which you connect these wires. You'll want to ensure that the connections are secure and correctly matched to the appropriate ports. This attention to detail is essential to avoid any potential damage to the ports or components. The good news is that most wires are uniquely designed, meaning that they generally only fit into the corresponding port, making it relatively straightforward to identify the correct wire for each port. 
This simplifies the installation process and helps minimize the chances of errors or complications during the setup. With a little patience and methodical approach, you'll be able to effortlessly connect the wires and enjoy the benefits of your new car head unit. When you connect the reverse camera able, there are two more wires connected with the slot. Those wires are working as your Wi-Fi antenna. Do not remove them. In order to check the unit, I am going to give the power to the unit using my power supply. The black cable is to ground. Red cable is to accessories line and the yellow cable is to battery. Therefore, I will connect red and yellow wires to power on this time. Since it is first time, the device will take a considerable time to boot it up. When the device is installed to the car, as the power comes continuously with yellow wire, the boot tone will not be longer than this. However, if you give the power such as an external power unit, give at least 2 amperes. Else, the device will not work properly. The device has successfully powered on, and the home page is now visible. However, it's worth noting that the date and time displayed on the screen are not accurate, but don't worry, we can adjust those settings at a later point. At this stage, you're looking at the default home screen provided by the device. You have the flexibility to choose a different screen layout that suits your preferences. Before delving further, let's take a moment to explore the settings. Within the settings menu, you'll find valuable information such as the Android version, which is currently set to 13, as well as details about the device's RAM, ROM, processor, and other vital specifications. If you're interested in personalizing the visual style of your device, you have the option to change the theme. Simply touch and hold the home screen, and a selection of 48 different themes will be presented for you to choose from. For the sake of this demonstration, I'll go ahead and select one of these themes. Upon interacting with the unit, you'll immediately notice the device's exceptional performance. It responds swiftly to your inputs, and the touch sensitivity is highly accurate. In the context of a car head unit, this speed is particularly crucial, as it allows you to carry out tasks quickly and efficiently, an essential consideration while driving. As mentioned in the introduction, this unit comes equipped with Android Auto functionality and also offers support for CarPlay, catering to Apple device users. However, in this video, we won't delve into the details of these features. I'll be dedicating a separate video specifically to explore and explain these functionalities in depth. Stay tuned for that. Now, returning to the topic of connectivity options, this device offers a range of versatile connections to enhance your audiovisual experience. For instance, you have the flexibility to connect an external microphone, which can be particularly beneficial for achieving crystal clear voice quality during phone calls or voice commands. Furthermore, this device is equipped with several input and output options to expand your car's multimedia capabilities. There's a dedicated front camera input, allowing you to integrate an additional camera for improved visibility and safety while driving. On top of that, you'll find video output, subwoofer cable, and audio output connections. These connections open up a world of possibilities for customizing your car's entertainment system. Whether you want to add extra screens, connect a subwoofer for enhanced bass, or share your content with external displays, these cables provide the necessary flexibility to achieve your desired setup. It's all about tailoring your in-car experience to your preferences and needs. Certainly, 
Let's delve into the intricacies of the reverse camera cable and understand how to effectively connect it to your car head unit. This process is crucial for enabling the rear view camera feature, enhancing your driving safety and maneuverability. The reverse camera cable, as indicated, is specifically designed for the connection of the rear view camera to your unit. To initiate this connection, you'll first need to locate the cable labeled as back. This is the key to activating the reverse camera function. The reverse camera, by design, operates when it detects that this particular wire is connected to the reverse light circuit. Here's how it works. When you shift your vehicle into reverse gear, the reverse light at the back of your car illuminates. This is a signal to the car head unit that you're about to engage the reverse mode. The unit, powered by this signal from the reverse light, swiftly activates the rear view camera, providing you with a live feed of what's happening behind your vehicle. This seamless integration ensures that you have a clear and real-time view of your surroundings, making parking and reversing safer and more convenient. To make this connection, you can utilize the red cable within the camera cable itself. This red cable is designed to carry the power from the reverse light circuit to the car head unit, effectively triggering the reverse camera's functionality. Ensuring the proper connection of this cable is essential for the successful operation of your rear view camera, adding an extra layer of security and convenience to your driving experience.
In order to install apps, you have to sign with your Google Play account using your email address. Signing in with your Google Play account using your email address is crucial for a well-rounded app experience. It not only grants you access to a vast library of apps but also enables personalized recommendations tailored to your preferences. This association enhances security by providing a unique identifier for your account, making it a vital layer of protection for your app library. Furthermore, it facilitates the backup and synchronization of app data across devices, ensuring a seamless transition between gadgets without data loss. Your email-linked account streamlines payment processes, maintains purchase histories, and grants you control over app permissions and privacy settings. It also serves as your point of contact for customer support and account recovery in case of issues. All in all, this connection between your email and Google Play account offers a comprehensive and secure app ecosystem, making it the cornerstone of your digital app experience. You've been provided with universal brackets for mounting your car head unit, and while it may seem convenient to use these brackets, the reality is that they might not align perfectly with the existing holes in your vehicle's dashboard. Therefore, a bit of modification is required to ensure your new head unit is securely installed. To achieve this, the process involves a few essential steps. First, you'll need to mark the locations of the holes on the car head unit using a marker pen. This ensures precise placement for the new holes. Once these markings are complete, you can proceed to use a drill to create the necessary holes in the dashboard. This step requires careful attention to detail, as the accuracy of the holes directly impacts the alignment of the head unit. Once you're satisfied with the newly drilled holes and they match up with the brackets, you can employ the provided screw nails to firmly attach the brackets to the car head unit. This secures the head unit in place, 
ensuring it stays put during your drives and maintains a neat, professional appearance. While it may involve a bit of DIY work, this method guarantees a secure and customized fit for your new head unit, ensuring it seamlessly integrates into your vehicle's dashboard. The installation of a new car head unit brings a remarkable transformation to your vehicle's appearance. Your dashboard takes on a sleek and modern look, thanks to the contemporary design of the new head unit with its vibrant touchscreen display. This integrated screen seamlessly blends into your dashboard, offering a polished appearance. Customizable themes and wallpapers allow you to match the head unit's display to your car's interior aesthetics, giving you a personalized touch. With fewer physical buttons and more intuitive touch controls, your dashboard maintains a clean and uncluttered feel. Additional ports and connectivity options are subtly integrated, making it convenient to connect and charge devices. Improved audio quality and enhanced sound controls further enhance your car's interior ambience. Plus, advanced features like Android Auto and Apple CarPlay provide a seamless smartphone integration experience, not only boosting functionality but also contributing to the overall appeal of your dashboard. If your new head unit includes GPS navigation, you'll have a high-resolution map display that eliminates the need for additional GPS devices, enhancing both functionality and aesthetics. In essence, the new car head unit doesn't just upgrade your vehicle's features, it elevates the entire look and feel of your car's interior. As we conclude this extensive video, I trust you now have a solid understanding of this car head unit. Before we part ways, please remember to show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. Until our next video, stay tuned and stay connected with Sedenfix.